thank you for joining me this evening. We come together for our time of reflections and for our next few evenings together we will reflect upon some of the Psalms. Let us then take time to relax in God's presence, to reflect upon the day, its challenges and its joys, to acknowledge and give thanks for his presence throughout the day and to seek him now in the quietness of the evening. We come in prayer. Lord, we come. Here we are and you are here. You are here and you have called us to spend time with you. Here we are and you are worthy. You are here and you have called us to be still and quiet before you. Here we are, and you are to be praised. Amen. Our Bible reading this evening is Psalm 8. Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. You have set your glory in the heavens, through the praise of children and infants, you have established a stronghold against your enemies to silence the foe and the avenger. When I consider your heavens, the work of your fingers, the moon and the stars which you have set in place, what is mankind that you are mindful of them, human beings that you care for them? You have made them a little lower than the angels and crowned them with glory and honour. You made them rulers over the works of your hands. You put everything under their feet. All flocks and herds and the animals of the wild, the birds in the sky and the fish in the sea, all that swim the paths of the seas. Lord, our Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. Perhaps I can start by asking you a question this evening. What is yours and my relationship with the physical world? I can recall some of the lessons I would have at school where we would take a look at astronomy and the various planets and galaxies and hearing that there were more stars in the universe than all the grain of sand on all the beaches in the world. I found this so mind-boggling. I just couldn't take it all in, and sometimes even now still finding it hard to accept. It's just too big a thought. There are too many stars ever to be counted. Billions upon billions, endless and I'm sure the most powerful of equipment could never scratch at the enormity of it all. And yet beyond all of this, and the complexity of the universe, is a creator. And it's not hard to believe. Take a look at our world. Take a look at creation. The stars, the sun, the moon, the beauty around you. Psalm 8 helps us to understand our relationship with God and his world. The purpose being to magnify God in all things and not just to meet our needs. As human beings we are of central concern of the creator God himself. We are given authority and responsibility to God for the way we use it. I have no problem at all believing in a creator. 
The remarkable aspect of Christian belief is that this great or powerful creator God who holds the whole universe together is aware of the likes of you and me. We have great worth because we bear the stamp of the creator. Each of us are valuable to him. And not only does he know about me and about you, he can set us free from our feelings of emptiness. He loves us and longs to have our love in return. He is our great creator. It's quite mind-boggling, isn't it? I wish to share with you a meditation entitled What Made That Made Me. Lord, I'm part of your creation. What made everything else also made me. We think of the stars and the planets as strange and mysterious things. We think of radio waves from outer space as weird and alien. But what made them made me. Francis of Assisi spent time thinking of animals as his brothers. I need to spend time thinking about this fact. That I share a common father with all creation. I stand in awe of creation. I am staggered by the distances and dimensions which astronomers mention when they talk about space. My mind reels and my imagination boggles at the ideas we now have of the immensity of the universe. But I am a part of the same creation as all these things. This thought makes me feel humble but not insignificant. It makes me feel very, very small, but not without dignity. It isn't dignity which has anything to do with my own powers. But I feel that if I am made by the one who created this vast universe, then I can be satisfied with this thought. I am proud of my creator because he has created so much. And because of that, I have a sense of my own value and dignity as a human being. Save me from being big-headed, Lord. Save me too from losing this sense of fundamental value. Because if you made me, I'm valuable. Like a pencil sketch, by an old master, nothing in comparison with his great masterpieces, but precious to the one who knows and understands. I am just a fragment of God's creation, but valuable because of my creator. In humility and trust, we bring our prayers to God our Father. For all the beauty of the earth, for creation in all its entirety. We, we praise, praise you, Lord, Lord for you, you are, are the, the creator, creator of, of all things. things. For the seasons of the year, in their rhythm and harmony. We, we praise, praise you, Lord, Lord for, for you are, are the, the creator, creator of, of all things. 
for all we can enjoy in all its diversity and uniqueness. We praise praise you, Lord, Lord, for you you are are the creator creator of all things. For our call to stewardship of your creation, that we may honour the trust you place in us. We We praise praise you, Lord, for you are the creator of all things. Lord, thank you that I am part of your creation. Amen. Amen. Let us pray together. Lord, we may be tired at the end of the day, but I want to say thank you. I want the memory of today, with all its ups and downs, to have time to take shape in our minds, and as it does, may it be offered to you now in simple gladness. Lord, each of us say thank you. Thank you for your unchanging love, for correcting me when I've gone wrong and for giving me joy when I have obeyed you. Thank you for the people to whom I have spoken with or even seen through the window, for those for whom I have helped or have helped us. Be close this night to all who need you, from the frontline workers, whatever their roles, to those whom we love. We commend them to you, as each of us commit ourselves to you this night. Amen. Amen.